Hey everyone, Scott from MySteps here. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about creating artwork for screen printing. What is the best way to create artwork that's going to be good resolution uh, and have helpful layers in the separation process? So I have pulled some random elements off the internet and I wanted to throw together a sample design and show you how to go about creating artwork that's going to be separation and print friendly. So first you're going to create a new file in Photoshop and you want the artwork file to be about the size that you're going to be printing it at actual size. So let's say you wanted a 15 by 18 design. You're going to go 15 by 18 and you want your resolution to be about 325. Next you're going to make your background your shirt color. And above that, you're going to want to start placing your elements together. So let's place our car there. We'll have a pinup girl. Okay. Let's have some splatters. put a background in there. Okay. And let's add some other elements. Okay. Let's add some of these guys in there too. So you have your artwork here. And let's say you wanted to do a fade on the edges so you don't have that square look. So what I've seen a lot of people do is they'll take this background piece and they'll just start deleting it. And you don't want to do that for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it removes the artwork completely and you're never able to go back and fix it. So you want to have the fade to be on a separate layer above it. So if you make a new layer and then you know you can draw your fade you can blur it and that's a better way to have a fade that way you can separate the file without the fade and then knock it through at the end and you'll be able to knock it out more from the underbase creating a better choke on it so that's a good reason to keep that fade on a separate layer. I wanted to talk a little bit about masking and how to use these layers to help you create useful masks in your separation. So let's say I wanted to select the orange car and then maybe I wanted to use a fluorescent ink or something. So uh, what you're going to do is when you go to select the orange, so if I go to select color range and I choose uh, my closest color to orange which is red and I make a mask out of it I'm gonna be picking up a lot of colors here that don't really belong there's gonna be browns and flesh tones and all of these things and I really only want this area of the car so how to do that is you're gonna go back to your car here and you're gonna make a selection of it so you're gonna command click on it and then you're going to hold down option and you're going to click on all of the colors above it and that's going to give you a selection of your car okay so I can use that selection 
to select inverse and delete everything else. And that's going to leave me with just my orange car. If I make this a fluorescent green, we're able to see it better. And I just have these two little pieces of red in the wheels. I can easily just circle them and delete them. And now I have a perfect mask of my orange car so that I can separate that and focus on those areas and not have contamination of browns and flesh tones uh, in my mask. So say you want to scale this image down for a front print and it's going to be the same image on the back and the front except the front's going to be smaller. You can take this already separated file and use it just by scaling it down proportionally. I'll show you how to do that. So under image size, you're going to want to make sure the width and the height and the resolution are linked. This is your link icon here. So if I click off of it, you can see nothing is linked. And if I click it, the width and the height are now linked. And I also want to link the resolution. So I do that by unchecking resample. That links all three together. Now I can change the width to say eight inches and everything will scale proportionally, including the resolution. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you have any other questions that you'd like to know about regarding separations, please go ahead and ask me them and I'll be making a Q&A video very soon on this channel. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.